Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about parking garage indicator. So let's look at the example first. Parking garage indicator. When all parking spots are occupied, a full indicator should turn on and also barriers should not lift. If the parking spot is vacant, then buzzer will turn on and barrier will be lifted for 5 seconds. That means, suppose there are 4 parking spots and all are filled, that means all sensors are activated, then a full indicator will turn on. And if uh, another uh, car comes, then the barrier should not lift. If there is any parking spot vacant, that means if any sensor is not activated, then the buzzer will turn on and barrier will be lifted for 5 seconds and the full indicator should not turn on. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally close contacts. With that, we will be also using timers like TP. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. This is the interface of TI portal. Firstly, we need to go to PLC tags, then default tag table. So here, we need to add our inputs and outputs. So the first input will be sensor 1. Then we have sensor 2, sensor 3 and center, sensor 4. So we have 4 parking spots and there are 4 sensors and then we have some outputs like full indicator. So this is an output so its address will be like Q0.0 and then we have one more output that is the barrier and its address will be Q0.1. After that, we will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram for this example. So firstly, we'll insert normally open contacts for the four sensors. So this will be sensor 1, this will be sensor 2 and this will be sensor, sorry, this will be sensor uh, 2. And then this will be sensor force. When all the sensors are activated, then the full indicator will turn on. So this will be full indicator. And after that, when full indicator is off, so this is full indicator. When it is off and there will be one more sensor at the entrance of this garage. So for that we will add that input as entrance sensor. So this ad uh, its address will be I 0 0.4. So here we will use a normally open contact for this entrance sensor that means when the full indicator is off the full indicator will be off when there will be any sensor deactivated that means there will be any vacant spot and there is a vehicle at the entrance then the barrier should uh, uh, lift then barrier should turn on and then with that the buzzer should also turn on so i will open the branch add a coil so this will be buzzer. So we need to add in the PLC tags buzzer. As it is an output, so its address will be Q0.2. I will minimize this. So this will be buzzer. So the buzzer should run for 5 seconds. The buzzer and barrier both should turn on for 5 seconds. So for that we will uh, use a timer operation here and that will be TP and the preset value will be 5 seconds. 
So as you can see here, when there is no vacant spot left, so these uh, sensors will all be activated and the full indicator will turn on. And if the full indicator is not turned on, that means when uh, there is any vacant spot in the garage, then the full indicator will not turn on. And when it is off, the current will flow through it. And when there is a vehicle at the entrance, then sensor gets activated and the barrier gets activated that it lifts for five seconds. And with that, the buzzer will also turn on for five seconds. So now I will start the simulation here. After that, I will click on load and then finish. After that, I will start the CPU here and then I will start monitoring. After that, I will switch to project view. Let's create a new project here. Click on create. I will expand the options and then go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. So here I will right click and then click on load project tags. So these are the project tags. So as you can see here. So if the if there is no sensor activated here. So the full indicator will not turn on and then if a, if a, a car arrives at the entrance then the entrance sensor gets activated and when the sensor uh, uh, entrance sensor gets activated the barrier will lift and also buzzer turns on for 5 seconds. You can see here the barrier and the buzzer turns on for 5 seconds and then the, the car uh, gets into the garage and take the spot wagon spot so its sensor gets activated so sensor one got activated and then comes another the sensor two gets activated then another then another so all the vacant spots are not vacant now there is no vacant spot in the garage so there will be a full indicator turned on and then the full indicator is on, the current will not flow through this. As a result, the barrier and buzzer will not turn on when a, uh, when a, uh, when a car comes at the entrance. So when that sensor gets activated, the barrier will not lift and the buzzer will also not turn on. So there should be a vacant <coughs> spot there. So if sensor 1 is not activated, as you can see here, when sensor 1 is not activated, that means there is a vacant spot, the full indicator will not turn on and the a full indicator will not turn on, will allow the current to flow through this. As a result, when a car uh, comes at the entrance, the sensor gets activated and the barrier gets lifted and the buzzer turns on for 5 seconds. And then barrier goes down and also buzzer turns off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.